Hello guys, did you know Nairobi is the only city in the world that has a national park within it? Now you know. So today's adventure we're going to take you to Nairobi National Park which is uh, within two, kilo, two to three kilometers within Nairobi CBD that is uh, from Nairobi CBD around two to three kilometers. So guys we are going to take you through the Nairobi National Park uh, show you what we have within the Nairobi National Park because most people have been asking okay do you think that you can have all the animals eh? all the big five within the Nairobi National Park or do you think uh, being within the CBD uh, it doesn't have like uh, most of the animals that you can find in most game parks so today's adventure guys we're going to take you through the Nairobi National Park the only uh, city in the world with a national park within it so let's do this Oh, can you hear that? 
Nairobi National Park, the world's only wildlife capital. So a short drive out of Nairobi's central business district is the Nairobi National Park. Wide open grass plains and backdrop of the city scrapers scattered acacia bush play host to a wide variety of wildlife including the endangered black rhinos, lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas, buffaloes, giraffe, and diverse bird life with over 400 species recorded so far. So visitors can enjoy the park's picnic site, uh, three campsites actually, and the walking trails for hikers. Nairobi National Park is a national park in Kenya that was established in 1946, about 7 kilometers south of Nairobi. It is fenced on three sides, whereas the open southern boundary allows migrating wildlife to move between the park and the adjacent Kitengela Plains. Havibo gathers in the park during the dry season. The park covers an area of 117 square kilometers and is small in comparison to most of Africa's national parks. The park altitude ranges between 1,500 and 1,760 meters. Uh, it has dry climates and the park is the only protected part of the Athika Piti ecosystem, making up less than 10% of this ecosystem. The park has a diverse range of habitats and species. The park is located about 7 kilometers from Nairobi Center. There is electric fence around the park, northern, eastern and western boundaries. Its southern boundary is formed part of the Mbagadi River. This boundary is not fenced 
and is open to the Kitengela Conservation Area which is located immediately south of the park and the Adi Kapiti Plains. So there is a considerable movement of large angulate species across these boundaries. <laughs> Herbivores, including wild beast and zebra, use the Kitengela conservation area and my migration corridor to the south of the park to reach Adi Kapiti Plains. They disperse over the plains in the wet season and return to the park in the dry season. The concentration of wildlife in the park is greatest in the dry season, when areas outside the park have dried up. Small dams built along the Mbagadi River give the park more water resources than these outside areas. They attract, attract water-dependent herbivores during the dry season. The park is in the northern limit of wildlife migrations in the dry season. The park has a high diversity of bird species with up to 500 permanent and migratory species in the park.
Good job, bro. Sole, 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 sole,